Miss Grand Australia. I invite you all to close your eyes. I want you to imagine your happiest place. What does that look like? Are you in a field of flowers? Can you hear the laughter of children playing? Your family, friends, and loved ones. Now I want you to imagine that world being blown apart. I want you to imagine a world where bombs fall. Families are torn. A world without a home. A world without peace. A world where the strength of a father means nothing, where the love of a mother protects none. A world where children, instead of laying in your arms at night, lay in graves before they are given the chance to learn what life is all about. But what life, what is life all about? Joy, happiness, peace. A world with no peace is a world with no future. I invite you all to stand with me in stopping the war and violence. Miss Grand Brazil. Paulo Freire, a Brazilian educator who has most inspired people throughout the world, once said a phrase I deeply believe in him. Education does not change the world. Education changes people. People change the world. Many wars and conflicts result from intolerance towards cultural difference. Environment destruction, as we have seen in the Amazon, is not a twist of fate, but it's a result from selfish decisions and wrong policies. Only one path can lead us to overcome those challenges and find a world in which peace and tolerance prevail. Education. As Miss Grand International, this is my commitment. Struggling for us to educate each other wherever I go. Permanently, continuously, always. Miss Grand Ecuador. I believe that we were created for such a time as this. For an army of warriors of compassion to come to this country to use our words. Our words are of great importance. They have the ability to create life or death. Right now, the world is struggling in a great matter, and I encourage you to use your words to create a change. I know that our words today can help us to bring hope to the distress. It can bring us, it can also help us give strength to the discouraged and also dismantle hearts that are filled with hate. I believe if we join together, we can come as one and hope everybody can help each other to bring our words of positivity to help us. Venezuela, gracias por hacer el cambio que el Miss Grand Internacional quiere. Miss Grand Mexico. I know I will touch a very sensitive subject, but I don't want to keep watching posters of missing girls and young women in our countries. I always wonder if one of those girls might have been me or one of my sisters. That's why I would like to express my sorrow and concern and act against cruelty toward girls and women all around the world. I stand in solidarity with victims of violence everywhere equally at any time, because love and kindness are limitless. We all connect by having the same hopes, 
the same dreams and the same expectations of life and also, sadly, the same suffering, the same pain, and the same frustration. We need to open our eyes, we need to open our minds, but mostly, we need to open our hearts, because I know if we all come together to make a change, many lives could be saved, and finally become truly free of this terrible nightmare on which so many girls are living on it. Miss Grand, Panama. The Miss Grand International platform this year allowed to me culture peace. I must recognize that it's always associated wars with violent acts that support between nations, forgetting the true root of the social problem, education, begging, reading the home. In our families, now, I think that peace is the foundation of coexistence, education, and dialogue. Having the opportunity to be ambassador for this project, I will speak to work, hand in hand with society, showing empathy. Let's practice the values, justice, respect, and tolerance. Everybody nation can bring love, fraternity, optimism, and courage. Yo puedo, tú puedes, Venezuela. Muchas gracias. Miss Grand Peru. Buenas noches, Venezuela. Estoy feliz de estar aquí. To stop the war and violence, we must educate kids from a young age that war is not the answer, that violence will not get you anywhere. We see time and time again in the 21st century, racism still alive. We see men mistreating women. We see gun shootings in schools. We have over 50 million youth being bullied daily. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in young people's lives. Real lives are being ruined here. We must stand up and say no more. We did not come this far to just make it this far. Our ancestors have fought hard for this world. So should we. By spreading love, peace, and happiness, we will have a better world. Thank you. Miss Grand, Puerto Rico. Us Puerto Ricans were betrayed by our main leaders in our most vulnerable moments. And you may think that we would have gone to war because of this, but we didn't. I experienced firsthand what happens when a country truly unites in peace and harmony for the better good of the people, and it's called reinocence, a chance to start again. If we were able to do this for our country, imagine what we're all able to do for the whole world. We detain war every single time we decide to be selfless. When we hold on to our values instead of recurring to violence, we detain war when we put tolerance and acceptance as a priority. And don't let race, religion, politics, or gender divide us. Advocating for peace doesn't mean you're submissive. It means you know how to fight back for what you believe in, but with the right mentality. Let's use the most powerful weapons we have against war, love, respect, and communication. I challenge you to start a revolution of peace with me. The question is, are you with me? Gracias, Venezuela. Miss Grand Thailand. Never benefit anyone. Adam and Eve were the first men. <laughs> were the first men and women. Therefore, all of us from the same family. Why? We have to fight with our own brother. 
and sister, and thieves, and uncles. If we are from the same root, compassion is what we should be sharing after all. family that is grand family so please stop door and violin thank you miss grand venezuela From my home now, I have learned that the most beautiful thing is to always welcome everyone with a smile and that's what really makes my country strong to continue helping everyone around the world. Sometimes we believe it's impossible to stop the war and violence, but I know how we can make it. First love and second kindness, if we combine in our hair love and kindness. We can make this world a better place. Venezuelans, remember please, more love. This is our homeland and our not alone. Thank you so much, Venezuela. Miss Grand Vietnam. Before taking the points, let's take a time to answer these questions. Do you know where do the evils come from? Humans. And where does the goodness come from? Humans beings too. So, I mean, the deep reason of the war comes from our evils and goodness inside each of us. If we let our mind and heart looting with the evil things, we will do the bad things and it is actually called war. Realizing this thing, so what do we have to do? Love more, understand more, and share more with the people around you. Spread this message by raising your voice and do our best efforts every day. Stop the war and violence inside each of us. Bring more happiness and peace to over the world and for children in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>